Well, Joanne, it's pretty exciting. You know, a lot of the press conference did focus on new technology and the mobility aspect of the company, but for those of you nostalgia lovers, there's something there for you. And Ford says it's all just to give the people what they want. On websites, all the letters we get, all the emails we get, there's just a lot of pent up demand for a product like that with that, with that name and that, and that history. The Ford Bronco hit the market in 1966 before the term compact SUV even existed. For 30 years, it was popular among off roads enthusiasts until it was canceled in 1996. This morning, Ford announced the Bronco is galloping back to market in 2020. The new Bronco executives announced will be built at the Wayne, Michigan plant, along with the Ford Ranger, which is scheduled to return to the U.S. market in 2019. With much of the press conference focused on mobility, technology, energy efficiency, and community planning comprising the future of Ford, I asked executives how reintroducing a historically gas-guzzling, rough-and-tough SUV fits in. Well, it'll fit, but we're not talking about it yet. So we have time to talk about it from now in 2020, but rest assured, it'll fit into our SUV lineup and it'll fit into our overall strategy as a company. Well, the announcement of the return of the Bronco is definitely being greeted with some cheers and yays, especially from our very own Kim Russell, who says she can't wait to buy one. She's an outdoor enthusiast. On top of that, a lot of new technological advances. Uh, this right here is the Transit Connect. Now, we've seen this vehicle before. It's not new. But one of the new technology advancements that Ford did announce is a prototype of a Transit Connect cab, a taxi cab. It's a hybrid, and they're hoping the taxi cab drivers well, are going to love it. The idea will take off. We'll have more on their technology advances coming up later on today. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson reporting live from the Auto Show. Joanne, back to you.